Hi, I'm Angela Wolf, a fashion designer and online instructor. And I want to show you how easy it is to take a simple jacket and make it look really rich. Look at this. This is just a princess seam jacket. And all I've done is quilted each section a little bit differently. Look on the back. Again, here's the center back piece. This is all one piece. But by quilting it in different directions, and this is a very narrow quilted area, and then adding this other side that matches these sides here, it looks like this is actually a yoke, but it's not. This fabric looks a little bit like leather, doesn't it? But guess what, it's not. It's just a very inexpensive synthetic fabric. I know you've seen this and you thought, oh, I would love to make something out of this. It'd make a great handbag too. But for the jacket, by quilting it, it made it look so rich. Now look at the inside. These are serge seams. So what's on the back? Because on the back of the fabric, although it's black, that's not the same. This is fleece. By putting fleece on the inside, quilting that to the outside, it gave it the quilted look. But on the inside, it's like wearing a fleece jacket. I added the knit sleeves, which made it even better. When I'm wearing it, it is so comfortable. So let me show you how to do this. Here we have, this is that synthetic fabric and a piece of fleece. I use different colors, you can see this. This is just, a, just fleece. And I have clips. You can't really put pins in this because you end up with holes, so I use clips. You could use these kind of clips, office clips. They have some in the laundry section, whatever you find. It'll hold everything in place. Next, you need to plan your design. If you have a curved ruler on the back, this is what, kind of what I did. By the way, when you're using chalk, use clay chalk on this fabric. Don't use wax, because if you use wax, you will end up with a little marking. Uh, when you press it, it usually goes away, but not on a fabric like this. So here's my first line. Now on this, I don't, I'm not going to, for the narrow lines, remember this is kind of like the back that was close together. I'm not going to mark all those because you can use the edge of your foot to line it up. And I'm just gonna put one line like this. And I would put lines all the way across. Let me show you how to sew this. So if you have two different designs on the same piece of fabric, just pick one way to start. I'm gonna start with the long straight line. And I'm gonna use my laser light just to line up my line. It just helps to have a nice straight line. And I'm gonna go forward and just do one back stitch. I have the machine set at a 3.0 stitch. Again, I'm using a number 14 G needle. It really works well with these odd fabrics. And I'm stitching, and notice I'm holding the fabric flat. If I don't, it'll start to pucker underneath of here. Just hold it flat, and you're letting the feed dogs pull the fabric through, but you're holding the fabric to the fleece. So I'm almost, let me move these clips. I could also be doing this. So you're letting the machine do the work, I'm just using a basic open toe foot, nothing special about this. I'm not using a special leather foot. If you do have a problem getting across the fabric and you don't have a special foot for that, it's called a Teflon foot, you could always wrap just a little bit of tin foil around it. That helps, a little secret. So this is how this looks on here, just like that. And on the back side, you just have a seam. You can hardly see that. I'm using green thread so you can see. Now let's just do the curved line. Just a little bit, the laser light's helping to follow that around. And I would do that all the way to the end, but let me just show you a little trick here. If you don't want to do a bunch of chalk marks, here's this. I'm gonna line up the edge of my presser foot. Because this is the open toe foot, it, the edge of it lines up right there with the stitch line. And again, stitching. I could also move my laser light over, but I'm just using, the, I'm gonna turn that off so you don't get confused. The edge of the foot is right on that stitch line. Let's see what that looks like. So see this? This is what I did at the top of the jacket, just row after row after row. And on the back side, this is what you end up with. One quick tip about pressing, if you're, when you press this, which you need to press it, you're gonna press it from the back side because this side, doesn't, unless you have a, a shoe that goes on the bottom of your iron, this 
can really turn into a mess. So that's how easy it is to quilt a faux leather and make it look really rich.